it's Poppin Collective. I'm back again. This is a spiritual assassinator coming through with messages for you guys this morning. These messages will be for my Virgos out here. You know what I'm saying? So let's see what's going on with the Virgos. This is the spiritual assassin coming through on the one and twos with these messages. Um, I do have pre-shuffle messages for you guys. We will lay down the tarot um, after I deliver these messages. Please remember to um, like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Remember, time is fluid. You can get these messages um, anytime in the near future, in current, or it possibly could have happened um, in past energy. So um, take the message, what resonate, disregard the rest. You know energies are interchangeable. You could be a feminine and be a masculine energy or be a masculine and be a feminine energy. Take what resonate and do not um, bite the information that don't belong to you. All right. So without further ado, let's tap into these messages. So what's crowning the reading so far? This, I want to show you your cards. All right. And I'm going to read them to you. Uh oh. Let's see this thing. want to act stupid now. Hold on, guys. All right. Okay. There we go. You know, we're going to make it pop. Either way it go, if it be the living room, my room, outside, either way it go, we're going to make it pop and get these messages out. So, yeah, I see that you have hidden knowledge, collective. Somebody lose in this connection. And it's this honorary side chick. She came in reverse. So this person lose. But you have hidden knowledge. Yeah. This person could possibly have um, a dry cat. <laughs> Somebody did something intentional to a hustler who is an Aries Leo Sage. But you are a star. And trust the process. I don't know what made me do that, but guys, I just felt like I had to share those messages with you guys. And someone is saying, I'm sorry, I slept with the karmic again. So we already know third party energy here. There was an honorary side hole here. I feel like this person is um, not in the picture no more with the card being in reverse. Yeah, that's why the card came out. You lose because you got hit knowledge collective. Yeah, three of cups is here. Somebody is celebrating or is about to celebrate. Or somebody could have been celebrating with this honorary side chick. But someone is in nostalgia and thinking about you. I feel like this Three of Cups is dealing with the karmic and a masculine and a community could be. But we'll know as we um, dive more into the messages. I also see on my soul's journey messages that at the bottom of the deck is indecision. So somebody was being indecisive on um, picking you. They were stuck on if they was going to be with this honorary um, side chick or if they was going to be with you yeah they were celebrating with this party this person they possibly wanted to have you in them take it as it resonate I also see that what's crowning the reading for um, these messages is freedom in reverse so somebody possibly felt restraint like they didn't have any freedom to make a free choice of a decision on which way they wanted to go. They felt stuck and bounded by something. That's past energy. I feel like current energy, somebody is building up the strength, the courage, the confidence to come towards you in the present energy. And I feel like in the future energy, it's going to be nothing but love in the air. And based off of these cards, what I see, it seemed like somebody was stuck um, making a decision that was indecisive on which way to go. They felt like they didn't have freedom wherever they was at, or they felt like they was being restrained, um, like they was locked up in prison. That's why this freedom card is reversed. But now this person is wanting to take courage and take initiative and come towards you because they love you is what I'm getting. They are possibly about to get rid of this honorary side chick. If they haven't already, they will be. Yeah, this person lose. Because you got hidden knowledge. And they will celebrate with somebody. Or this person is possibly wanting to celebrate with you. 
after they end this affair with this side hoe. That's what I'm getting. Well, let's get some um tarot for my Virgos. Thank you, source. So there's a Knight of Wands in reverse, Aries Leo Sag. Someone that was uh that's very reckless, ret restless, hot headed, very unpredictable, brash in actions, um, shrewd, aloof, fizzles out. This person doesn't strategize. They just act on impulse. So this part, this person had was indecisive about you, and this person didn't have freedom. They didn't make. They didn't. They didn't make the right choice, or they chose not the right. Make the right choice is what I'm getting. Let's continue to get some messages out here. Yeah, somebody was being sneaky and deceptive right here. Seven of Swords. Yeah, I feel like that this Knight of Wands in reverse was being sneaky and, and sneaky and deceptive. Um, for the simple fact he was indecisive about who he was gonna choose because he was dealing with you and uh karmic energy. He wanted to both keep y'all at the same time with the three of cups. He wanted y'all to party. Whether it be secretly apart or together. He was gonna try to hold on to both of these connections. He was making actions. He was making moves without thinking. He was being sneaky and deceptive about his actions. Hmm. But now somebody see you as the world. Somebody wants to start a new, a whole new world. <laughs> that Aladdin song. That's what I'm getting from this card. Somebody is taking the courage and, um, what I want to say, the umph, the the um, the passion of what they of where they want to go towards, uh, they find the inner strength and the confidence to come towards you to start this new leap of faith. Is what I'm getting this this whole new cycle, this whole new um, beginning, is what I'm getting a whole new world. Yeah, because they want to offer you this Ace of Pentacles. You could possibly be this Queen of Pentacles right here. You um, focus on your coins right now. Um, you're down to earth. You could be a Taurus sign. Well, I am speaking about earth signs right here. So you could possibly be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hold on, guys. It's one to act stupid now. Hold on, guys. Dang it. Don't do it. Okay. Yeah, we just gonna have to do this for right like this for right now. Y'all get it shit. <laughs> I don't like this. No. Alright. So Yeah, I get it. Okay. So this is where we at. <laughs> so I left off there. So in the near future. <coughs> Excuse me. So in the near future, your person is is wanting to offer um, you a pinnacle, a gift, um, some type of uh, blessing, uh, along with this love offer. Um, this person is taking the courage to stand up and um, fight for what's right because he wants to start a new cycle with you, a new world with you. Um, he possibly felt like he was restrained, couldn't make a decision, felt like he didn't have a, a freedom of choice here because he was still in karmic energy. He couldn't see the... The forest before the tree is what I'm getting. Like he couldn't see the truth or the light in a situation because he was blinded. Because he was in this karmic energy is what I'm getting. You could possibly be this queen of pentacles right here. Um, you're down to earth, practical, resourceful. Um, you love nature. You're very nurturing. Um, very grounded. Um, you got your spirit guide right here that's guiding you. The rabbit may um be symbolic to you and spiritual um as a spiritual animal towards you. You can be very motherly, home-centered, a homebody. Yeah. You possibly could be pregnant. But let's continue to pull. Ooh. Well, let's get those. <laughs> What's going on here? Yeah, somebody... 
when I tell y'all somebody was stuck and um, bounded, felt like they didn't have any freedom. They felt stuck to a situation. I can't make this up. The King of the Knight of Wands right here in the reverse. He felt uh, like he was self-limited, uh, self-restrained, bounded, constrained. Um, felt like he couldn't go anywhere. He felt like he didn't have any freedom in this con this other connection he was in is what I'm getting. Yeah, there was a tower moment. With this tower moment, he was able to start a new cycle with you. He had to have courage to bring a tower moment to start a new cycle with you, collective. So he broke off a commitment with an honorary side chick to come start a new cycle with you. That's the tower. Yeah. He, that was a Ten of Pentacles in reverse. He possibly had invested in the wrong person and wanted um, inheritance with this person, but of course this person was karmic. That was the wrong relationship. As he could see, it's toxic. That's why he's leaving and he brought a tower moment because he see um, that this was not uh, fulfillment. Or it was draining his pockets. Or it was this connection that he was in was draining him. Um, it was unstable. Um, it wasn't healthy. Unexpected change. He could have lost a lot of pinnacles behind dealing with this karmic energy. Is what I'm getting. And that's the damn truth. Ace of Swords. I can't make this up, y'all. And that's the truth. Ace of Swords here. That's God's truth right there coming out. Let me get... Let me get a couple more cards. Sorry for that, guys. So let's break it down real quick so far what we got going on. So we got um, somebody was very indecisive over you. You got hidden knowledge. This karmic um, karmic honorary hoe, she lost, as we can see. Um, this person was feeling restrained uh, with the Eight of Swords. This person was also in his Knight of Wands energy. He was in a karmic energy. You know what I'm saying? Where he was very fizzled. Uh, didn't make um, wise choices. Uh, winning things without thinking first. Just rushing into things. Um, making brash decisions. Not thinking them through. You know what I'm saying? That was past energy. The current energy is someone uh, had a tower moment. Someone is now taking the courage to come towards you after some type of tower moment happened. They see this... The new world, they see a new world with you. They want to start a new cycle with you. <coughs> they have the confidence to come towards you now. To present uh, some type of cup of love to, towards you is what I'm getting. I also see in the near future that someone is bringing a cup of love. I can't make this up. That's the ace of cup. That's the cup of love I was talking about. They're coming in with love. They want to offer you a gift. God is presenting a new opportunity. This beautiful gift. But someone was in a Ten of Pentacles relationship. They didn't see that that they didn't see it as being stable. That's why they brought the tower moment. Because if something, something was fishy going on with a connection. And that's the truth. And they could have been possibly dealing with a Queen of uh, Pentacles, or you could have been a Queen of Pentacles. But let's find out who was this tower and what happened. Matter of fact, let's find out who is this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So it's Spirit, guys, who is this Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Someone who was not investing in poor and having poor planning, just wasting money, not um, investing in, 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 in things they need to, or overspending, overindulgence on, um, on their investments, being impatient, not practical. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and whoever that was doing all this extra spending, put your person in, um, they backstabbed them. So I feel like whoever that this part, whoever your masculine was dealing with, this um, honorary hoe, don't have any financial um, smarts about themselves. So they was just blowing money, blowing money. He possibly thought this person was um, his ten of pentacles. Like they was going to um, be profitable, but I feel like that this person was only using him for his money. I felt like that he could have possibly gave this person love, gave her a pinnacle, but she spent it out on whatever she wanted to. She didn't invest in the money like it's supposed to. And that's why it's poor planning here. Because somebody 
did some mischievous ass shit, and that's the truth. They backstabbed, they took from this person, they backstabbed this person again. Or this could be, ha this could happen in the near future, so be careful. This person may be trying to come back around and trying to suckle you with some type of, some, some type of love offer only to take from you and to put you in anxiety. Is what I'm getting. But you're exhausted and tired from this situation. If you choose not to leave this situation, you're going to put yourself back in the same situation again. You better make a choice. Because if you're still choosing to go back to the other lover, knowing that you brought a tower moment, you're stubborn and refusing to see the bigger to see the picture. They're gonna drag you for everything that you got. You exhausted giving up to this energy is going to causing you to lose everything you got. You need to leave this energy alone. Whoever this message replies um, is for, because they're gonna end up backstabbing you again. And that's the fucking truth. Can I get a? Clarification on the tower. Yeah, Will of Fortune. This is divine timing in play. Which way are you going to go, left or right? Huh? Which way are you going to go? You can turn that wheel right and you can go and, and get good karma. Or you can turn the wheel left and get bad karma. But if you choose to stay in this situation, you're going to lose. You're going to be mentally defeated. Financially defeated. Emotionally defeated. And that's the fucking truth. So, can you clarify the Nine of Cups reverse for me, please? Yeah, the half thing here is come is here to guide you to pick the right choice. This could be somebody who um, I'm, I'm gonna say like a tarot reader, um, a spiritual advisor, somebody that's part of the community. The community look up to this person. Somebody that's in a religious 